Hi guys, and welcome back to Hoarder's Heart. On this episode, we're going to be doing when a hoarder tries the Fly Ladies 31 Beginner Baby Steps. <laughs> if you're new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by and checking me out. I'm a hoarder, and I can steal my identity by putting the sunglasses on and that phone in front of my face. Because I'm still found a little too woo vulnerable to admit that I well, who I am, and here's all my masses and mental struggles. <laughs> but no, my subscribers, I noticed a lot throughout last year has suggested you should read fly lady try the fly lady method and i was like okay i'm seeing a theme here maybe i really should try this and the funny thing is i'm pretty sure i have the book hoarded away somewhere in that hot mess out there <laughs> but i just gotta find it so when i went online i had saw she had some kind of 31 day beginner baby step thing i said hey i'm all about the baby steps so I was like, why don't I give this a whirl? And also, guys, I'm doing this on my own. So if I'm going through each day, because I'm going to show you each day, if I'm missing something, please, please, in the comment section below, leave a message like, hey, you forgot that part, or hey, you forgot that. Because I'm trying to figure it out a little bit, but I work better with people and not by myself. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to show you the days. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, here we go. So baby step day one shine your sink all right that sounds easy enough i can go ahead and uh, shine my sink but um i guess i gotta clean the dishes first huh <laughs> can't really shine it if there's a big pile of dishes in it now so i have a double sink so i'm guessing once i clean the dishes right 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 and then dry them off and put them away right 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 i have to clean both of them because i have two sections to it. Now, when I was reading the directions on how to do that, it said to fill it up with hot water and put a little bleach in it and let it sit for an hour before I scrub. Now, uh, I'm not the hugest fan of bleach, I'm going to be honest, and only because it gives me wicked headaches. Nobody wants to be like, yay, wicked headaches. <laughs> but I want to follow this, I want to be open-minded, it's randomly like 60 degrees in January. <laughs> so luckily it's a perfect day. I can open the windows and let all that icky bleach smell kind of like air out so I don't get a headache. But I definitely want to do this and be mindful and you know do this as best as I can. So I'll go ahead, we'll get the dishes clean and trash where it belongs. And then we'll fill the sink up with water, hot water and then a little bit of bleach, and then let it sit for one hour. Dunky sinks, that's for sure. <laughs> this is bad. Ooh, look at that trap. Ah. So, all right, all right. So, I'll empty out the trap and I'll do a hard rinse real quick. Oh, that is funky, dunky. And then <laughs> uh, I'll fill it up with the hot water, put a little bleach in it, and go ahead and let it sit for about an hour. All right, so both sinks are full with hot water and bleach. And I'm supposed to let this sit for an hour. And then after the hour, I'm supposed to use tongs or like long gloves to pull this, you know, to put my hand in and empty it out, rinse it out really good. Then you're supposed to take either Ajax or Comet or baking soda and scrub it really hard. Now, thankfully I do have baking soda. I also do have Ajax. Um, I do have some scrubbers right over there that I can use. And then after you do that and rinse it out really, really good, you're supposed to use Windex, which I have the um, Walmart brand. So that's what I'm supposed to do after that. So, all right. So done so not bad not bad definitely does look better than what it did look but I do notice that I uh, these little spots these little light rusty spots 
I can't totally get them out. So if you guys know how to get them out of the stainless steel sink, leave a comment in the just uh, leave a comment below, please. So that way I can try and get that uh, clean and off of there. But yeah, overall, not bad, not bad. So here we go. Day one is complete. Check. <laughs> All right, guys, so welcome to day two. So day two is today I want you to get up and get dressed and lace up your shoes right to your feet, hit the floor in the morning. So, well, I don't have laces on my shoes and it's Sunday, but I got dressed, I'm ready to go. And it also says to keep your sink shining today. So, all right, we are ready. We are dressed, we're ready. Let's start this day. All right, guys, so I'm adding this the day two. This is all the printouts so that I can try the Fly Lady Baby Steps. So see, this is all the details of the days of what I'm supposed to do. This was how to clean the sink because I wasn't sure how exactly she wanted me to clean the sink. This is like a nice little checklist so that you could check off the days of what you did. But I don't want it loose like this. I want it in a binder so it looks pretty and nice. And I'm not going to Staples or Target to buy one because I'm trying to save money in my new spend January. Plus, I know darn well in this hoarded basement, I have a binder. I know I have multiple binders. But the last time I was in here, I believed I had seen one coming up on this little section right in here. I know I saw one. Uh, and I'm determined... Determined, determined, determined. Aha! <laughs> yes, honey, there it is. It's a pink binder, too. It's a little dirty. It's a little dirty. <laughs> it's a little dirty. It's a little dusty. I'll clean it off real good, but woohoo! So I will go ahead and clean this off and put all the paperwork in there. Yay! <laughs> all right, it is day three. And look, everything's in a binder. Doesn't that look so much nicer now? <laughs> All right, so day three, it says, today you are doing what we have already done. Getting up and dressing to lace up shoes. Okay, I did that because I had to go to work. Keeping your sink shining. Um, all right, we'll have to do that tonight. Then it says, start exploring the Fly Lady website. Be sure to read the launch pad section. This is where you'll find the daily flight plan. Okay, okay. Sign your or shine your sink before you go to bed and then send an email. All right, all right. All right, guys. So I just did a simple Google search and the website, of course, pulled right up on in. And I just wanted to peek around in the website, check out the launch pad, see kind of what that was all about. I had a bunch of little um, things like a click on, um, talking about flight plans and different things. So it had a lot of good, interesting um, tools on their website. So I'm glad that I uh, was checking it out and I'm sure that it's gonna be very useful um, resources as I continue to do these little baby steps. All right guys, now we're on day four. Yes, day four. So it says for today, getting dressed to lace up shoes. Okay, shine in the sink. All right, we know we gotta do that. And this is read your fly lady message. So I did send that um, email just saying my sink is shining. They said way to go, hurrah. All right, the next thing is to write these items on a sticky note. So here's the sticky notes and they want you to put it on your bathroom. So I'll go ahead when I go home and put it up on there. And then it says this is the beginning of your control journal or by the one I have built for you. Okay, so let me see. And then after they're posted, then I have to send another email. Okay, fair enough. All right, guys, here we are, day five. Woohoo! All right, let's see. So it looks like it's getting dressed. Lace up the shoes. Okay, we're at work. We can't come in slippers now. So we're doing good there. Keeping our sink shining. Now, I'm not doing that whole process every day. I'm just kind of doing like cleaning it out and stuff. All right, next is read your fly lady message on our website. Now, I did send the email, I didn't get it back yet. I'm gonna check again, maybe it went in my spam. Uh, I'll have to check again and see what that message is. 
And this is looking at our post-it notes. Okay, the post-its that we put up uh, last night. And then in here, it looks like it's really talking about the negativity in your head. Are you hearing nagging negative voices in your head? And it's trying to like, it wants you to write it down, you know, the negative thoughts and then turning them around into something positive, which is huge in hoarding, which is last year where I did that whole, um, the 30 day hoarder challenge, which I'd like to do again, where you wrote a positive affirmation about yourself and let go of one item. I want to do that again. Um, changing your mindset and being positive about the experience is huge for anybody. It doesn't even have to be a hoarder or any. It's huge to change our negative thought patterns. All right, guys, we're on day number six. Day number six is getting dressed with the shoes, all right? Keeping her sink shining, all right, we got that. Read your email, sure did. Looking at the post-it notes, oh, yeah, they're up there. Recognize the negative voices, yeah, I got them quieted out. <laughs> so it's going over what we already did all week, and now finally, as I was reading this, I was like, oh good, a little action, a little more action in this, is that you set your timer for two minutes and practice putting out your hot spot. Now your hot spot is based basically just your catch-all when you walk in the door um you know when you throw the stuff where it's the thing where always gathers clutter so quickly which everyone knows it's this it's this table when you first walk in the front door this thing is my catch-all so for today it wants me to set a timer for two minutes and then clean this up um for two minutes straight if i don't finish it within the two minutes it's fine, but that's what she wants me to do. So, all right, let's go get the timer and we'll go ahead and uh, get that cleaned off. All right, so that's about what two minutes of working on your hot spot will do. Now, um, of course, I'm gonna put those streamers away. I'll wipe down the table outside the two minutes. And there's a couple of things that I threw as the trash pile that I'll throw in the trash pile now. And I didn't do it within my two minutes. So, I mean, that's not bad. Um, that's definitely something I need to work on every day. If I can make that a daily habit is getting this table as a two minute hot spot, clearing it off. If I do that every day, I totally would be good at maintaining this area. All right, guys, welcome to day seven. So, yep, we got dressed, our shoes are on, the sink is shining, we read the emails, we read the post-its. We're not saying any negative uh, uh, self-talk in my head. And we're going to put out our hot spot again for two minutes, which I'm glad because guess what? Yep, just one day. This is definitely our hot spot. So, for two minutes, we'll go ahead and clean that. And then she's adding to um, our habit before bed routine. Now, I got the kids' bedtime routines to a T. We were picking out clothes and stuff. But she says, tonight before you hop into bed, I want you to pick out what clothes you're going to wear tomorrow. I lack in that for myself. Because after I've gotten the children ready and their clothes are picked out and they're ready for bed, I'm exhausted and I just kind of crash. So when I'm putting out their things, for, you know, the night before school, I got to make sure I'm including my things, having my clothes put out and ready for the next day. That's really, really important. So, all right, guys, let's go set our timer for two minutes and uh, clean this off. All right, guys, the table is done. My hot spot is cleared off. And I feel good about this because this thing gets cluttered every single day. And overall, I'm really glad that I'm doing the Fly Lady baby steps. I think this is going to be key for me uh, for maintaining the home because I've learned last year that I can declutter a room and then get it where I want it, but I don't maintain it. Like, three to six months later, it's hoarded again because I didn't change those significant subconscious habits. So I'm glad that we're doing this. The sink's clean, the hot spot is clean, and this is something I'm gonna be continuing. So we finished up day uh, one through day seven, and uh, my plan is to do this every Friday, do a weekly update on it to see how I'm doing. And I hope you guys really uh, enjoy this series, and I hope maybe you guys, maybe a couple people can join me in, uh, in doing it as well. So guys, I am going to wrap up this video, and I just wanna say, man, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you next time, bye.